I'm going to show you the end-to-end -end pipeline starting from Postgres where we insert, update, which generates certain change logs, which are then consumed by uh, Debezium Postgres connector running on this uh, bottom right sc uh, screen and which are subsequently consumed by the Flink uh, in a Flink table and we write a Hoodie table which syncs to the Hive Metastore which can then be queried by Presto. So here I have on top I have Postgres, on bottom left I have Flink, on bottom right I have uh, Debezium Postgres connector and top right I have Postgres. To save some time for the demo I have already created a table um, users table which has uh, these uh, three records and uh, I have set up the Debezium Postgres connector which has already consumed these three records so if uh, in my local installation of uh, Confluent if you go and look at this topic it has already consumed some records here um, let's do one thing we'll insert a record here but before that um, let me create a table for um, table in Flink uh, to consume records from Kafka. Um, so I have all the DMLs uh, here and uh, later on I can share the share this with you so that you can try it yourself. So the same schema as the Postgres table and let's see what happens when we create the table here. So the important thing to note here is that you have the, you provide the Kafka broker uh, schema registry URL, uh, the format, and of course the connector name has to be Kafka. Um, so now if you do a select star from topic users, you get um, so that this will take some time to refresh. Let me meanwhile the copy, I want to show you in this demo and insert and update um, so I have already prepared the statements here. Um, we are going to do an insert and you can see the records here, right? RM123, fine. Let's do an insert. Now you did an insert. See, the Debezium connector um, consumed that. Uh, it picked up the LSN change and now it's reflected here, right here, right? So now, uh, let's see, we'll create a hoodie table um, for which again I have the scripts ready uh, here again it's the same schema the important thing to note is that you specify the connector name as Hoodie you specify some base path you specify the meta store URI and database and table name if you want to sync uh, if you want to be able to sync to the high meta store and query through presto so that's what we are doing in this DML and this DML as such doesn't do anything it uh, it's just adds um, the table to the catalog uh, the main uh, job that runs happens through this insert into command and uh, it will submit a job to the Flink cluster which we can monitor in the Flink UI right here. So, yep, this came up here. Awesome. And uh, you could also, let me show you the change here. So this base path, right, this is where we are writing the Flink, uh, I mean the hoodie table on this base path. As you can see, there is one parquet file written just now. And um, so let's go to, this was user's demo table. And we go to the metadata. You can see that there is a commit happening here. All right. So let's move to the Presto. Let's see if it synced uh, properly. So I'm, so I'm already in a high default uh, schema. And uh, previously I had these three tables. I created one new table as you can see from this uh, config hive sync table name. And here you go. You have this new table. If I do a select star in Postgres, what do you get? We get four users. So now if I do a select, uh, I actually just want to select uh, I have it here, so let's see. Otherwise, uh, you'll be shown the meta fields as well, which we which will blur the screen. All right, so you have these four records here. Now, let's say we want to update some record. Let's say we want to update this very first record with user ID three, right? Um, and we want to update the last login time, which has changed since the user last logged in. Um, so let me copy the update command and what I'm going to do is 
uh, for user 3 uh, the up, mm, last login time is something 2015 all right same date I'm just gonna change it to let's say use login after one hour so this is what your transactional system is setting uh, giving an update here so this um, again will write uh, uh, the change log which will be consumed by the uh, connector um, as you can see here again right so uh, this connector uh, will subsequently so this would have created if you go back here to the hoodie base path you can see that there is a commit in flight this should have completed and yep so this has completed uh, another in flight instant generated if you go up uh, one level above we have one new parquet file which is um, which is the updated the latest snapshot of the table and now let's query this um, um, uh, 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 table through presto and let's see if the change has reflected so what you see here for rm3 um, so for rm3 the last login um, well the uh, the timestamp formats are mixed up but you can see that the last login here uh, it's something uh, 28 8 22 26 40 this is 6 26 40 so this has certainly updated so that's what I had for demo this this whole thing is uh, very scalable when uh, you're doing it the important point to note here is that we didn't really uh, resync again here the Flink, Flink, Hoodie Flink integration incrementally pulls data every time and it automatically gets reflected on Presto. So this end-to-end -end pipeline is very low code, low touch pipeline. Um, and as a data engineer, you, you don't have to uh, do a lot.